Jeffrey Epstein and the royal family, a scandal that shocked the Brits. This is Scoop. It is a real life story based on the Newsnight editor, Sam McAllister, who books this interview with Prince Andrew and basically has this one-on-one -on -one discussion with him about Prince Andrew's relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, the disgraced a mogul millionaire from the United States who seemed to have very powerful connections all over the world with the most famous and the most elite. And Scoob is a classic journalism movie. You're going through all the beats and all the fashion of this as you're watching this one very specific BBC interview that shocked the nation. It was scandalizing and basically what led up to it. I think this is maybe a little bit more sensationalized uh, than Spotlight is, where Spotlight is really about the nitty gritty. This is kind of a feel good journalism movie, I guess you could call it. I would put this more in line with films such as She Said and uh, the Fox News movie a few years ago, Bombshell. I would put scoop more in this line of categories for journalism movies but scoop does follow these essentially two bbc workers one of them uh emily uh, modelis i believe uh, portrayed by gillian anderson and the other one sam McAllister, played by billy piper as they get this chance to interview prince andrew played pretty magnificently by rufus sewell uh who is just electric in prince andrew and we'll get to why he works so well in this movie but it's this moment that we all know is going to happen because even if you haven't followed the jeffrey epstein story as close as others and i will fully admit i have not followed this at uh, all minus the fact that i know just the general crimes uh jeffrey epstein was found guilty of and then also eventually the weird uh, circumstances that led to his uh, apparent suicide and the conspiracy theories that go along with that. This film doesn't really explore the conspiratorial aspects and natures of the Jeffrey Epstein. This is a far more by the books procedural in essentially how do you nail down an interview with a guy like Prince Andrew, who's so protected, who has the royal family protecting him, and get him to talk about the thing that you know he is going to fervently deny. And essentially, how do you get him to, if not confess, at least open up in a way that is actually going to make some truth come to light? And that is the main tension here in the film Scoop. And I have to admit, for a Netflix movie, that this is so overtly a little cheesy and a little just thin in its characterizations and storytelling and really is just hitting back on the beat of isn't journalism good and how important it is i have to give scoop credit that it is easily watchable this movie is pretty breezy in its pacing you're locked into the story. You care enough about it. And maybe it's because the performances from Anderson Piper and Sewell are so good that you're just able to buy into this world. I don't know much about the story. So when it is this kind of fact by fact procedural drama of a procedure that I don't know, I was able to find myself being interested, learning about items of Prince Andrew's past that I didn't know his connection to American royalty, such as the Clintons, uh, all of those aspects and specifically, obviously the Epstein relationship that is really the heart and center of this controversy in this movie. So not knowing any of that, I went into this movie, just, you know, open-minded to the fact of just being able to just basically learn about this whole scandal that I didn't know and how high ranking essentially this scandal went. So on that terms, it's a very easily watchable film for those who already know about this and have followed this story that this film is reporting on. There might be a little bit of a dullness to this film because it's like, okay, I already know everything that's about to happen. It is just kind of a beat by beat portrayal of events that I already know more than I need to know about it and all of that. And yet, like I said, maybe that is my own personal, just not knowing it, not coming in with that knowledge into this film. In terms of performances, I think this film's strong in terms of pacing. I think this film just works 
in a way that keeps it entertaining, keeps it light on its feet. I know I compared Scoop to films like Bombshell or She Said, the film that's actually probably most reminiscent of, at least in American standards, is uh, Ron Howard's Frost Nixon. That's the film that it reminded me the most of. Nowhere near as polished, nowhere near as clever, uh, nowhere near as tense, but it is essentially the American equivalent of Frost Nixon. And I think it also blends this HBO home movie. I, I'm thinking specifically of Recount or Game Changer. Uh, the, well, that's the Sarah Palin one, I believe is what it's actually called. I can't remember if that is the correct title. But those types of movies where it's just, it's a recount. You get to see really famous actors giving these performances. And you by the end, I'm just like, you know what? I had fun with this movie. I never need to revisit it. But for what it was, it was worth checking out. And the reason you watch Scoop is for the final third act of this movie, which I find the most compelling. And maybe this is because of my relationship with Prince Andrew, which is I just don't have a relationship with Prince Andrew. If you lined 20 older British men in front of me, I would not be able to tell you with my life which one is Prince Andrew. I just can't even picture what his face looks like. So thus not knowing anything, not knowing what the content that he discusses in this interview, some of the crazy things that he says, it's watching a train wreck and essentially watching someone not realize they are going through a chain wreck and that they are self-destructing. And then this journalist reporter sitting back and just like, like further derailing the train and being like, can I push it just a little bit further? Like, is he going to go even more off the rails or is he going to notice it? And it's this tension that she has where she's like, I, I can't ask this next question the way I'm about to, but I'm still going to try because he's just so self-destructive in this interview that it doesn't seem like he's going to stop himself. And it's this inherent lack of filter uh, that Prince Andrew has in this movie that makes this final third act, this interview portion of the film, just so wholly dramatically compelling. And I had a great time watching this aspect of the movie. So while the first two acts, they're very cliched, you know exactly where they're going to get to. The third act delivers, and I had a good time with Scoop. I, this isn't a good film. This isn't a great film, but it is a film that I had fun with and was enough to pass the time. And I can definitely recommend it to you. I think this is an overall pretty okay film and I'm happy to go two and a half out of five stars for Netflix's scoop.